Alright everybody, welcome to the show. So, City Skyline just released today. Me here, Bolo. This is... The Kai. And this is day one. And... See what's up with this game. I've got everything configured how I want. There's a few mods already released for it, but I'm not going to start with any right now. There is the main mod that everybody talks about called... Um, all squares unlocked. There's a total of 25 build areas available in the world, and you start off with one. Now, the game was only designed to allow you to have nine for performance reasons, but there's a mod released way before the game came out that gives you all 25 if that is what you want. So, I'm not going to start with that, obviously. Mods are dumb. Mods aren't dumb. Well, no, but I'm mods are awesome. Yes, they are really awesome. <laughs> I, I can't help but saying that mods are really awesome. They just make a game of the cheese. Well, we're not going to start with any mods. We're going to start with just the fresh game as it is. Okay. So I've got... The way I think I want to start playing this game is... I'm going to let the city grow as a city would. And I'm going to try and address issues as they come up as an actual mayor would. As a what? <laughs> oh, a, ma a mayor. I thought you said like an actual mayor would. All right, so where do we want to go? Green Plains, River one, Run, Black Woods, Islands, Shady Strands. <laughs> hey, these sound good so far? Two rivers. I kind of like Shady Strands. Not strains, strands. <laughs> shady Strands. That's not any better. Maybe. Maybe. Sandy Beach, Diamond Coast, Lagoon Shore. So what do we actually have to work with here? We've got... Okay, yes, the oil slick here. Mm -hmm. We got a rock, Rocks which is good. ore. Oh. We got some soylent green here, farming. Oh. <laughs> and trees, so forestry. And, of course, water. Looks like most of these places in the starter areas are all pretty well stocked. All of them could definitely have better oil. Well, they're all... Pretty, pretty much the same so far. No, nothing's really. Ooh, don't pick massive. that one. That one has no water. Don't, don't pick Springwood. No. Wow, it's called Springwood. Where's all the water? Wood. Spring wood, not spring water. No, you said spring, so I was like thinking of a hot spring. Oh, I got you. No, like that. So you still think uh, Shady Strands? Yeah, it has a lot of water and pretty good forestry. <laughs> Whatever it's called. There's lots of trees. Lots and lots of water, lots and lots of wood. So, left hand traffic. Do we want some left hand traffic? What is that? Well, in other countries they drive on the left hand side of the road. Whereas we drive on the right. Very good. <laughs> Let's just make sure you knew that. We'll stay on the we'll we'll stay on the right. Here we go. Leveling up buildings. Level up buildings by raising the land value and providing education for your citizens. I'm a citizen. Not of this dump. Oh, yeah, we gotta find a name for this place. Uh. I kind of wanted to just say name it Dumpy Town, but don't. We will not name it Dumpy Town. Don't name it Dumpy Town. There is a lot of text on this screen. That is loud. Is it? I can't really hear you. Hold on. What do we got here? Pause. Nope, that's the opposite direction. Ah, there's pause. And you were right, that is very loud. Let's adjust this. Some audio here. Yeah, it's like I'm hearing yours. That's a little better. What do you think? Well, it's funny. We're both running through the same line, so if you turn yours down, mine goes up. Because it's, <laughs> it's just electrical signals there. That makes no sense, but... What's electricity? I think it would be like mine goes down, yours goes down. 
Well, you see, you don't control the dually bop on mine. All right, so we got a little tweet bird up here who's going to yak, yak, yak the whole time, apparently. Hello, this is Chirper. Keep an eye on what your citizens are talking about and what is happening around the world. They talk like a dork deep, deep door, like all the sins and the magic of people. I don't know. That would be great. Because we did get the derp jeep and dorp dow Banana. Oh, who was the other guy? Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, you're uh, the mayor from... Uh, the male mayor from SimCity 4. Dish die bullshit. Oh, that was the cops. Anyway. Um, a lot of things I liked in SimCity 5, but, well, you know, everybody knows the problems with that game, so let's not dwell on it. Shut up. <laughs> so. There we go. Is, oh, I paused it. Oh, <laughs> I thought the game was broken or something. <laughs> no. All right, so like I said, I'm going to try and play this game like a mayor. The difference is in a lot of city building games, I will play it like a gamer. In other words, I'll draw out every road like I think it should go. I actually don't like this map. I don't like that river cutting right through the middle of the whole place. Let's let's look around. That might be a half mile wide. Well, this is two kilometers right here. So, that's two kilometers. I'm going to guess. I'm sorry. I'm going to calculate in me brain that that is going to be a hundred yards. Yeah, two kilometers and a hundred yards. You like that metric to standard <laughs> conversion? <laughs> Um, I don't think I like this for my first place because I don't like this huge river going right to the middle of it. All right, what was this? This was Sandy Sh oh Springwood. That's right. All right, let's quit that guy. Burn it. And we're gonna try a different town. Okay, don't try that one. Green Plains, River Run. Islands? No, I don't like that idea at Islands all. Are dumb. Wish you could get a better preview of what it looks like. Let's try two rivers. I think, I don't know, is that supposed to be a uh, Wheel of Time reference, maybe? What? Yeah, you don't even know what that is. But that's cool. Wheel of Time sounds funny. Okay. No ship connections. Well, I do want one that has everything right from the start. So let's go with... Mm, How about Blackwood? You know what? Let's just use the first one. No. Two rivers. Okay. Because that's better, right? You picked a great spot. <laughs> that is the best. <laughs> I don't think it's going to start right there. Let's see. Ah, much better. Nice big square of dirt. I thought it was just going to be like most of it in the water. <laughs> So this must be the two rivers coming together. Really? What do you think? So what is cool, I mean, you do have a long zoom out, but if you go way, way, way in. Look at that. You see that one little bush? And look back there. 80 gazillion gazillion bushes. That's a mountain. <laughs> I, I, was, I was looking to the right. I like the controls too. So there's the little interstate. So yeah, you get a nice long view of everything when you do it. Why don't you go up high and like whoosh? Whoosh. Well, I like it starts to fade out too, like you're actually looking in the, at the atmosphere. All right, I like this place. So, like I was saying before, I'm not going to play this like I normally do and plot out the entire world before I even hit unpause with this game. Cause that's what I normally do. You know, I'll put a big main road going this way and a big one going that way, and next thing you know, it's all plotted out. Because you start, oh wow, you start with 70 grand of, what is that? It's not simoleons. So it's a C with two lines. We're going to call those... Carrots. Carrots. 70,000 no, carrots. No, kerosene. What the heck is that? It's our new form of currency. I like carrots better. Okay. 70,000 carrots. <laughs> 70,000 carrots. All the farmers in this place are going to be rich. Don't do 
Um, all right. So, yeah. You start with a lot of cash, but uh, so you know a normal city wouldn't just grow with everything built ahead of time. And bam, there you go. So we're gonna I'm gonna develop this place like carrots. No. Or like tomato. <laughs> like it was actually naturally growing out of the wilderness. Well, you start with a link to the interstate. So I read about this one already, and it looks like it's still the case. You have to draw one road before you get an, a large road to build. So how do we destroy? You have to... How do I bulldoze? Oh, there's the bulldoze. Skadoosh. All right, so now I can build a main road coming off of the interstate. Is that straight? That doesn't look very straight. It's sort of straight. Sort of straight. All right, one road coming in. No, let go. Stop it. Yeah, stop riding me. Wow, it really wants me to use that road. But it's, the heathen road. it's one way. Oh, maybe it's because it's inside of that little graph. It's snapping to it pretty hard, so I can't do much about that. So let's do. Okay, let's do this. Don't know yet. That's really big. Ah, stop! It keeps wanting to keeps wanting to suck. There we go. Yeah. All right. So if I did that correctly, all right. There you go. You see the little arrows. So we got a road coming in, road coming out, and there is our little interstate connection. Yay! Yay! So I noticed that there is absolutely Right. You have to build everything else, or is it just no one's really inhabited at this place? Well, so far I've built a road, so yeah, not many people are going to live here if that's all there is. <laughs> I'm going to live on the road. <laughs> the best house. More roads. Oh, oh, that's a nice road. Oh, oh, that's a four lane. Nah, we're not ready for that yet. We don't even have a single house. Six lane road. Whoa. Oh, what is this? It's a nothing. That is not on. Oh, the highway. How about some houses? Okay. Zoning. So, we got some. The blue ones. Do you know what they are? No. Okay. We need to make the blue ones. Let me explain it to you. Zoning. They're they're using the standard system: green, blue, and yellow. Green is residential, houses. Okay. Blue is commercial. Like. Like. Walmart. So, like their businesses. Right. Um. Gotcha. Yeah, snapping this game is a little nuts. <laughs> what? Is yellow? Um, blue is commercial, and yellow is industrial. And industrial would be... Big businesses? Uh, like refineries, places that make stuff, manufacturing, things like that. Oh, like a plant. There you go. Like we got, you know, plants up the road. We do? Not, not that road. Other roads. You just said we got a plant up the road, not just saying... When was that there? Well, there's dozens of plants, uh, you know, about five, ten miles out. We live right next to the river. Okay, not right next to the river. We live near I a... I know what you mean. <laughs> also, we, we should definitely get people to live in the Walmarts. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have to zone for locations. Hey, how'd you lose money? Because I s built I some... I, I built some roads. Roads, yes. Yes. I know that. So let's start right here. Now, granted, this is all going to change later on. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Pfft, that's wrong. You have an unzone? Yes, you have an unzone. Or dezone. The first thing you're going to need is residential because people need to move in. So, blam! Let's, people are going to start moving in now. Zones determine what kinds of buildings will spawn in the areas next to the roads. Areas indicated by a gray grid can be zoned using zoning tools. There are four different zoning tools. Fill, marquee, small, and large brush. So you can actually um, fill, like this is a paint bucket, looks just like in a graphics program. Yeah. And you can use a marquee tool to whoop, 
draw out a box. Yeah. yeah. And then you can use like a paintbrush. Almost like a weight mapping tool is what that looks like. <laughs> and you have a large one. And here they come. Boy, everyone is just so excited to move into my town. Teacher, teacher, how do the buildings just spawn by themselves? Do because a uh, day takes about 10 seconds in this game. <laughs> Every time that little that little guy flashes, that's one day. Then why is it going down? What? Wait, why is it going up and now it's going down? Well, it built a little construction site and then pff, all the scaffolding blows away and there's a house. The economy panel lets you handle taxes and see how much you make and spend. Continuing growing your city to unlock more options. And we got a whole lot of nothing going on because we don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, we have lazy stuff. <laughs> no, Where'd those trees come from? Not enough to do anything yet. So a very small town, just a little spot off the interstate. They all work. They all work over here, over here next to the. Uh, Oh, there, next to the river. Next yeah, the they they work over here. We can't actually see what's in the river, but that's where they work. Okay, now I have a question. Yes. I've never played a game like this, you know, like a city building game. So, does that stuff flashing above them mean they need electricity and water? Brilliant! I did it. <laughs> they have yeah. They're trying to make it as simple as possible. Water, electricity. They have nothing. And if we don't provide it soon, they're going to Die. be very upset. Oh. So electricity. This was introduced in SimCity 5 or 2013 or whatever you want to call that turd. Was it bad? Ugh, let's not talk about that game much. Hey, achievement! Pioneer! Oh god, that bird. What was that achievement for? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. So we need electricity. First we need to generate electricity. This is a power line, of course, they ain't gonna do squat. So we have an option of wind turbines and a coal power plant. How much coal do we have? Nothing. We need wind. Wait, how much wind do we have? <laughs> how much wind do we have? We have all the wind. I don't know. Can you... D it sounds windy. Yes, but that's because you're really high up. <laughs> or at least the camera is. Oh, yeah. Good point. So, let's get some wind going. Those are huge. Well, yeah, windmills are pretty big most of the time. And we have to deal with noise pollution. So you see that big circle? Yes. That's how much noise it's going to make. Maybe if we put it right over here. Well, we're going to need more of them, I have a feeling. So let's put it, like, overlapping with the interstate. But then Yay! Oh, well, we got lots of money. Let's start building. Uh, the interstate will be in Who cares about that? <laughs> That's actually what I was thinking. Space already occupied by what? Thank you. Space. Maybe you have to not start in there. You gotta start here. Yep, yeah. that was simple. So it appears that as long as it runs to the grid, we'll get power. Power's good. Now right over here we oh, can look. see electricity generation. We got one megawatt consumption and five megawatts being eaten up or being generated. That's not right. <laughs> you know power. Thank you. <laughs> Dermot asking, is there any webcam information, or any information being blocked by the webcam? Well, uh, yes. there is a bulldozer. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Here's my mouse. There's a bulldozer right there. And there's a free camera mode right below that. And that's does, it. Does that stuff really matter? Maybe I don't think so. Illuminati is now taking applications for new members. What is that? <laughs> I guess we get fake news in this game. Okay, wait. Our people are drying up. They need water, <laughs> man. <laughs> so, noise pollution from a water tower? I've seen lots of water towers. I've never didn't realize they made a lot of noise. How close were you? Not very close. Now that I think about it. That explains why. <laughs> so, noise pollution, not too bad. It's going to generate a nice bit of water. Do we have any natural water sources besides the river? 
No. Connect the water pumps and drains with water pipes. Draw the water pipes on your city to provide buildings with fresh water and a sewer system for wastewater. Note that the water pumps and drains need electricity to work. Make sure your water pumps are located a safe system away from any drain pipes to prevent people from using contaminated water. So I suppose if you run the sewage, you don't want to run the sewage next to the water intake or they'll just start drinking the doo-doo. Oh yeah, I remember that in like one of the Sim games. And it's just like their houses were just starting to turn all brown. I was like, what the heck is happening? They got the brown water. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Did, did they clog their toilets? Yes, they clogged them good. They clogged them the worst. All right, so we need electricity. Water towers are loud? Uh, there's a bit of noise pollution. I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like they are very loud to me. But I've never, never had a lot of activity underneath a water tower. Maybe some would say that's where the best activity occurs. Under a water tower. What? I don't know. <laughs> oh, unpopular mayor! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they hate me! Yay! It's just like cooking mama. No one has time. <laughs> Alright, they got water. Oh, and they're complaining. Man, these people complain fast. Alright, so we need a drain.